It's a soggy job, but an important one. This may look like something from a sci-fi movie, oh boy. but this is what it's like inside the Roberts Tunnel during an inspection. It was wet, it was dark. Denver Water drains the tunnel every five years to look for debris and check for any problems. The lining here looks really good. This engineering marvel was completed in 1962 and took 16 years to build. The tunnel starts at Dillon Reservoir on the west slope. From there, it runs 23 miles under the Continental Divide to the east slope. The Roberts Tunnel is a critical piece of Denver Water's infrastructure. It's capable of delivering more than 480 million gallons of water a day to Front Range customers. When we do tunnel inspections, we're looking for any changes in the concrete lining of the tunnel, any shifts or cracking, anything that indicates a problem with the tunnel or could cause future problems. Inspectors saw plenty of water as the tunnel passed under Dillon Reservoir. So the water we're seeing coming in is coming through joints in the rock and cracks in the concrete. It's not unusual for tunnels to seep like this. We're just looking for any real changes. Pulling off the inspection is a complex mission, with safety as the top concern. There's also a communication team on both ends of the tunnel. We do always know where they're at. Copy that. After four hours, the inspection team completes its mission and comes out on the other side of the divide. Long, but the tunnel looked really good. Excellent shape. I mean, we didn't find any defects at all. It was a real nice, clean looking tunnel. Oh, there are so many people that put a huge effort into making this tunnel inspection happen. The tunnel looked good to me. Yeah, that's my first time through there. Uh, it was nice, it was exciting. To me, I'm, I'm amazed at how good a shape it's in. Based on this inspection, the tunnel's in great shape and will last well into the future. Great job. <laughs> Good job. <laughs>